In this lesson, creating a composition and drawing it consists of two parts. While there are no strict rules for creating a composition, there are several principles and guidelines that artists often consider to create visually appealing and harmonious artworks. Here are some fundamental concepts to keep in mind when defining the composition for your painting. Balance. Symmetrical balance, achieved by evenly distributing visual elements on both sides of the composition. Creating a sense of stability. Asymmetrical balance, balancing dissimilar elements with equal visual weight. Often by placing smaller, intense objects against larger, subdued ones. Hierarchy. Dominance, emphasize certain elements to give them more visual weight, leading the viewer's eye to focus on specific areas. Subordination, lessen the emphasis on certain elements to prevent them from overshadowing the main focal point. Contrast, value contrast, differences in lightness and darkness create visual interest and depth. Color contrast, using complementary or contrasting colors to make elements stand out. Texture contrast, combining different textures adds tactile interest. Repetition and rhythm. Repeating visual elements like shapes, colors, or lines can create a sense of unity and cohesiveness. Rhythm is achieved through the repetition of similar elements, creating a visual flow and movement within the composition. Proportion and scale. Proportion refers to the size relationships between different elements in the composition. Scale, manipulating the size of objects can create a sense of depth and perspective. Unity, consistent style, maintaining a consistent artistic style throughout the painting. Color harmony, using a limited color palette or colors that harmonize well together. Spatial unity, ensuring that all elements belong to the same space and environment. Simplicity, simplify the elements, focus on essential elements, removing unnecessary details. Clarity, ensure that the main idea or subject of the painting is clear and easily recognizable. Movement, directing the eye, use lines, shapes, or implied movement to guide the viewer's eye through the composition. Flow, create a sense of movement or energy within the artwork. Emphasis, Focal point, designate a focal point where the viewer's attention is drawn, creating a visual center of interest. Remember, these principles are not strict rules, but rather guidelines to help you create a visually engaging and harmonious composition. Experimenting with these concepts and finding a balance that suits your artistic vision is key to developing your unique style and voice as an artist. We will start with binary composition and diversify. First of all, I recommend you to draw a lot of binary compositions. We need to draw compositions with as many different and abundant materials as you want, apart from binary. Start with easy options. If you make quick and varied compositions, your hand and your eye can integrate the objects together. You can perceive and draw any composition you encounter without difficulty. When we first start our paper placement plan, you need to consider on your paper how much space the composition will take up. In other words, before drawing, you should know and determine how much space it will take up in this area. In the next step, I transfer what is where in that area to our paper with our research lines. In the next stage, apart from the object drawing, we proceed by mastering the entire composition, not just one object, so that the tone of the objects is not different from each other. We will continue with multiple object drawing and details in our next lesson.